Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would super appreciate it. And guys, I wanted to talk about the new Wapiti case today from a Louis Vuitton. It's going to launch on the 15th of March and it's going to be 745 USD, which is around a thousand Australian dollars. So honestly, not too bad. I think this is more worth it than like the mini pochette. So it's the same price as like a mini pochette. Um, the code is M81339 and yeah, it looks uh, pretty cool. So it's going to be launched pretty soon and it's in this new pastel um, Ombron colorway, which I know a lot of people are going crazy about. Now we previously saw a sneak peek of this in the Petit Sac Pla and guys, credit to Foxy LV because she's always doing the little sneak peek so it can you know prepare us for if we want to buy something so the Wapiti case is going to be available in this pastel summer emprunt as well and I realized I'd already made a video about the Wapiti case previously when I had it in multicolor. So the Wapiti case, I know I saw a lot of comments on Foxy LV's post being like, what the hell is a Wapiti case? Well, a Wapiti case is actually um, something that came out, I, I think it was pretty popular in the early 2000s and it was designed to hold like small cameras and like potentially flip phones. And it was a really cute piece. I think even Kanye West had one. It came in multicolor noir and multicolor blanc, and I've also seen it in the monogram canvas. Not sure if it comes in Damier Abin or Damier Azur, potentially, but most commonly you'll see it on the pre love market in the multicolor. Now, I have owned the multicolor before, and I th thought I'd share with you guys my video explaining what fits inside. So sit back and relax, guys. Enjoy my little what fits in my Wapiti case video. Welcome to my channel, I'm Jess. In the 2000s, but you know these days we have our smartphones so it probably won't fit. But I still find it really useful, it does still fit a lot. Um, there's like a little slip pocket in here where you can put cards into it. I just grab a few cards, so just for an example, and I start putting them in the slip pocket. So I only need like, you know, maybe three cards or so if I'm just going out to dinner or something. Um, and then I need my keys because I might be driving there. And usually I keep my keys in my key clay, but my key clay won't fit in here. So the keys are in. I'll probably need a lip gloss or a lipstick. Yeah, a lip gloss is actually because I usually use something like this and this will not fit. Um, will it? Uh, no. So maybe if you have like a mini lip gloss it'll be fine, but lipstick will fit because lipstick is usually shorter. And I guess you could put coins in there if you wanted to in cash. Um, this is hand sanitizer. That also fits in there. And what else can fit? Hand lotion. Yep. like one of those like mini perfumes in here too. I don't know if I have anything. I have this. No, it's got to be too big. Maybe something smaller. But yeah, that's pretty much the essentials you need when you go out. And you probably don't even need hand cream to be honest. And then you can just carry your phone. So it just zips up like that. And yeah, it's actually really easy to access because the zip goes all the way around. Um, BD. Um, it is much smaller. This does fit my iPhone 6s, but it probably won't fit your phone if you've got like one of those X Max phones or something. Uh, but this does fit more. So I think the shape of these styles, you can still put a lot of mini items in it and they are quite like soft. So yeah, I mean, it's still like a really cute bag. The only problem with it is you can't fit your phone. And some people would like to detach this strap and, um, clink it on some of their other bags and stuff as well so yeah it's just like that pretty cute just like a little you know I love mini things so it's a bit of a novelty 
and the monogram on this one is like really mini whereas oh, it's, this is like the usual scale of the monogram Louis Vuitton makes this style anymore but yeah I'd recommend it it's pretty cute I don't use it that often to be honest because I usually just take out a bag but I like to collect the Marikami pieces and I have regrets for the ones I sold but it's fine there's always gonna be vintage bags um, but anyway how have you guys been going I've been like guys I'm not gonna lie like my own video kind of convinced me to like want to get this whoppy case now the now you're probably wondering like would I get this? I have spent a lot of money this year, guys, so maybe not, but I think this would be a really cute piece, honestly, if you want like a little catch-all in your bag, but given it is a really light pastel color, I don't know if it would be very durable for day-to-day -day wear, like a throw-around wallet, because I really do throw around my wallets, and I think if you do want a little piece of this summer emprunt, this is like definitely the piece to get, it would just be such a cute little pop of colour inside your bigger bag. Like, imagine, like, putting that in my hair bag. That would be so cute. You could also take it out to dinner or something. And, I mean, yeah, the colourway is just so cute, particularly in these proportions. I particularly like how around the rim there's, like, this really beautiful, like, minty blue colour. It almost reminds me of, like, Blue Atoll from, like, Hermes. And I just... I don't know. It's so pleasing, the colourways. Given its cuteness, I know they're going to price it really high. Now, in the past, I have collected mini, mini pochettes and Louis Vuitton SLGs, and I sold them all because, just a reminder, guys, like, if you are saving for a dream bag, these SLGs are a major distraction, and I know they're not as expensive as a handbag, but if you continuously buy these $1,000 SLGs, it can really add up to a handbag, so... I'm just going to talk from words of wisdom and say if you are like really saving up for a handbag, I would try not to be distracted by SLGs because this one in particular is, oh my gosh, guys, it's even a major distraction for me. Like, I know that this is something that either I could wear every day and like throw around and use in my bags and put my keys in, but I think I would... I don't know, yeah, I guess if you're going to use it every day, it's probably worth it, but given the cuteness of this and the the light color i feel like wearing it every day would um show signs of wear and tear uh faster like i don't know for sure it depends how you use your slgs but i tend to like use my slgs you know you handle them a lot you put dirty keys in them and stuff and coins and just the uh, the tendency is that with slgs they'll get dirty faster especially in lighter colors so I've decided to kind of like, I usually use my Fairla cosmetics pouches, so I have some little Twin Stars ones, which I use a lot, guys, which I'll just show you. So I like to use like these ones inside my bags because they're still leather and they're not as expensive. So I don't know, for SLGs, I like to go a bit cheaper and for bags, I like to invest a lot of money. So I don't know, that's just my mindset. I'm trying to be a little bit more... Are thoughtful with my purchases so this is probably what I'm trying to resist but uh yeah guys I hope you found my video helpful today if you're wondering what a whoppity case is what fits inside and maybe how big it is um I'm not exactly sure if the new whoppity case will be the same size as the old whoppity case but if it is then yeah anyways uh this will give you an idea of what it will look like so please uh, subscribe to my channel, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye!